Hey you two friends, I got it all together and I'm complete with the repairs. And these are the electrolytics. I'll use my pointer here, I'll point them out. This is a 10 microfarad and that goes to ground. And this is correct where it has the plus going to ground because this is like a floating B minus system. So the the third, the middle leg, or the center tap of the transformer is the most negative part of the radio. So the, uh, the minus of this goes to the, the circuit that's part of the center tap of the power transformer. So the negative is in the right spot, and the positive is actually going to ground. And this electrolytic down here, and this electrolytic right here, are part of the Pi network for the filter. So, let me tell you about some things I did to the radio though. I have a fuse here for the B+, and that's a 300 milliamp fuse in there, and that comes right off the rectifier tube. So I figured that would be a good spot to put the, uh, the 3 amp, not the 3 amp, I mean the 300 milliamp uh, fuse. So, I just wanted to fuse the rectifier, and then there's a few, another fuse here, if you can see it, there it is. This fuse here is for the line fuse. I got a 2 amp fuse in there. So there's 2 amp fuse there for the line, and another fuse here, a 300 milliamp fuse for the B+. Now what I did here was, I replaced the wiring for the shadow meter, and not because it was bad underneath the radio, but it was kind of getting all frayed on top of the radio. So I replaced that, and you can see I twisted it together, and that should cancel out the hum, because originally it was twisted. So if you have twisted wires in the radio, you know, you should, you should re-twist them when you replace them. Then I replaced the speaker cable, because that was shot. The speaker cable was totally shot. Then I replaced one of the leads for the QAVC switch, and that's like a squelch to cut down on interstation noise. So one of those wires I had to put on because it was all frayed. So what I got hooked here is uh, about a four foot piece of wire. Just goes up over there where my deox cans are and it drops back down. And also what I got here is an old timey retro cord and lucky for me I I had the original uh, plug for it too so that was like pretty cool so I'm gonna gonna see if it works so here we go folks I'm gonna put the camera down for a second because the radio is real heavy and you need two hands to put it down so here goes Mr. Camera going down and the radios Gonna put it down here. Now I'm gonna get the camera here. Sorry about that, guys and girls. But here we go. I'm gonna lower the lights. And here's here's my Variac. I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna crank it up slow. And we're showing signs of life. There goes the light bulb lighting up. Shadow meter has a little light on it. I, I recenter the, the light bulb and I almost got that center. That's about the best I could get it. About 90%. Okay, I'm at 100% voltage, and it is working. I knew it was going to work because I tried it already. Here's the speaker. No, it's not a short wave station.
I, le I left the dial off because my, my hands are still grubby. So I just got it working like about uh, 20 minutes ago. That's about it. I want to put it on AM now. Oh, gotta turn this one. A dampening feel. Okay, the speaker got a little rattle on it at bass frequencies, but that probably could be adjusted. I get shadow graph deflection on stronger stations. Can, uh, give you a little more information while you're sleeping. See, watch. But I'm not getting it on weaker stations. Okay, so uh, I'm really happy that it's working and um, put a lot of work into it, but I guess what I gotta do next is um, could a, test the alignment on the three, the IF stages, there's three of them, and I could do that, but I gotta dig up some documentation on the code 121 chassis. I found something how to do alignment on a code 125 chassis, but that's just the four band one and this is the the five band one so um, you gotta try to dig up something on the code 121 chassis and uh, I could do the alignment next and maybe the shadow graph will work better once it's aligned and stuff but it, it's getting something out of it I'm like really happy about that and it doesn't sound too bad it's a lot of volume. Are you worried about wage garnishments, bank levies, and IRS seizures? American Tax Relief has helped thousands of honest, hard-working Americans settle their tax debt for less than they owe. I think the speaker has just a little drag in it, and I can reposition that. Because it, it rattles on the base a little bit. But anyway, folks, I just hope you have a, a great day, and uh, take it easy, and uh, have a great Christmas. Um, take it easy, folks. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.